Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to your HI Media TV news update. And from ABC News by Bruce Spakowski, thousands of Philadelphia workers are back in the office full time after a judge rejects lawsuit. Thousands of Philadelphia employees are back in their offices full time after a judge rejected a union's request to block Mayor Sherelle Parker's requirement that they return. This Council 47 of the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees has sued the city, claiming the mandate violates its contract and would harm city workers. The union, which represents 6,000 administrative and supervisory employees, has also filed an unfair practices complaint with the Pennsylvania Labor and Relations Board, which is still pending. A two-day hearing held last week on the lawsuit concludes that when the judge will Friday night, the city could impose the mandate so workers had to return the office on Monday. Parker announced the mandate in May, saying she wanted to create a more visible and accessible government. The decision ended the city's virtual work policy put in place in 2021, essentially returns employees scheduling to what it was before the coronavirus pandemic. Around 80% of the city's 26,000 employees have been working fully on-site since last year, while the rest had worked on-site. 31 to 75 hours per pay period. Or said the former mayor, Jim Kenney, had left hybrid work decisions up to department heads. The union sharply criticized the decision when it announced, saying it was unilaterally imposed instead of going through collective bargaining. It believes the policy will worsen the worker shortage the city has suffered since the pandemic. So, here's the thing. I'm a developer. My entire job is done digitally and can't be done effectively in a remote setting. And so, I generally am against... Um, you know, pushes to full time in office. I will say, like, there is a part of me that does think that yes, you know, public workers should be like in working in public buildings, doing the public good. But at the same time, though, like that is not the case. Like, eighty percent of the people are back in the office. That means, like, I'm fairly certain that if twenty of those percent of those people are working hybrid, that means that they are not so public facing that it's a thing. I think. Ultimately, the push to get everybody back in here is just some weird boomer shit with the obsession of, like, control, which I, it's gross, and I hate it, and I don't like it, and unfortunately, we don't necessarily, they, like, unfortunately, like, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I want, I, I only want, you know, union victories, but, you know, obviously, this isn't going to work. Um, it sucks, but... There's really not much you can do. Uh, business leaders, of course, love it because you know they love the idea of having their little worker bees in in, in their in their glass boxes so they can watch them and feel superior. But what can you do? Um, ultimately, I think this is bad for that last uh, you know twenty percent of workers. Um, I think this is going to lead to people finding jobs in the private sector. I think this is going to make again, like the article says, make it more difficult for uh, the city to have more uh, public works workers uh, available to them. And you know, like, unfortunately, you know, sidestepping the union this way sets a bad precedent, like a really bad precedent going forward. And it's deep concerning and frustrating. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a food to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.